Hey folks, welcome to the Tune of the Week. Thanks for joining me this week. We've got a classic Frank Wakefield tune, uh, one called Rondo, that he says he wrote in 1961. A short little tune in the key of F, but uh, nonetheless, it's got some fun ideas, and it's a really cool representative piece of Frank Wakefield's playing. So I'm getting this specific transcription from the Frank Wakefield and Leon Morris recording, uh, but there's a number of resources out there for you to hear him play this tune. And it's a little different each time, so I just encourage you to go check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. This is Rondo. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. Uh, like I said, we're in the key of F. And this tune primarily plays out of this F octave shape. So mostly close position, although we're going to use the open A and the open D quite often. Um, but for the most part, our guide here is going to be our first finger on the third fret. So that's our general position. Uh, we start out with these pickup notes, which is just going to be climbing from the 5th to the 7th fret. That's the D, or the 6th tone of the F scale. And everything is in the tab in the description below, so make sure to check that out if you need it. I always encourage people to learn by ear first, or even visually by watching. But if you need the tab, it's got all the pick strokes and all the fingerings. Okay, so we're going to climb into this uh, D note here just like that, and that D is going to be the first beat, so one, two, three, four. Now starting on this D, the first phrase of the tune is going to sound something like this. And this tune is kind of built around that phrase, I'll play it once more. So we're actually playing an octave here with this D. Um, and then that's a flat third, and we want to hold that while we hit the major third and kind of get this half step dissonance. Just like that. So we're going to repeat that uh, after we play it the first time. So on the repeat, instead of playing that D note, we're just going to hit this F twice, up, down. So one pickup note up, and then down on the downbeat on the F. So all together now, that sounds like this. Now our pickup notes this time are going to be much the same, except we're going to play this half step into the F. So it'll sound like this. Up, down. So one two, three, four, just like that. Now this time we're going to keep the pattern going, uh, and that's going to sound something like this. So we're just going to repeat that pattern a few times without landing on the F, just keep that. Keep that idea going uh, three times in total, I guess. So that's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. So all together now, our A section is going to sound something like this, including the pickup notes. One, two, three, four. So we're most of the way through. Now we're going to switch to the four chord, which is the B flat, and we're really just going to take this pattern down to the G and the D strings. So it's going to sound something like this. So the exact same pattern that we're playing up here, just played off of our uh, guide finger on this B flat note here. Once more, we're going 
to slide in that half step the second time. So now we're going to slide back into this F. play that once more so the three times through. So all together from the very beginning it's going to sound something like this. One, two, three, four. And now we're just going to go to the five chord which is the C. And in doing that, we're going to go to the sixth of the five chord, just like we went to the sixth tone. At the beginning, we're going to play the sixth of the five. And moving that around on the mandolin, just being tuned in fifths, we're just going to take it this way. So we're going to play just like that, like at the very beginning, uh, but on the D, A, and E strings. And then we're going to go back to that sixth tone of the F note by playing the D note here on the G string. And that's our ending. So we're going to catch that G on the way down. And then just go down like that. So after playing this last phrase, we're going to play this tag, which is going to sound something like this. So that's just starting here with our uh, middle finger on the D note. Pretty much the same set of notes we've been using for this whole song, uh, just phrased a little differently. Uh, but I'll play it once more. And that's our whole A section, so let's play that in the very beginning and see how it all sounds together. One, two, three, four. Now the B section of this tune is really short and sweet. Uh, I'll play it once and then we'll start to dive into it. One, two, three, four. So this B section is really just built out of these chords, uh, the first being this B-flat chord. And then we're going to go back to this F, uh, which with this F chord, it's a little less common, but I'm just taking this open D and sliding it up three frets. Uh, and then we're going to play the C chord. So that's pretty much what this whole section operates out of. Uh, and I'll play it once. Fingering-wise, you can do a couple of things. Um, I'm doing this. I'm barring the third fret with my index finger and fretting here on the fifth fret with my middle finger but you could play it like that like if you were to play this chord um, but for the sake of this tune it makes a little more sense to me to play like this because our uh, melody is going to go like this so i'm basically just playing these three notes and fretting this additional note with my ring finger, but you could do the same fretting with your ring finger and then fret this with your pinky. Uh, it's mostly just preference, whatever makes more sense to you, feel free to do that. So we're basically taking this to the F chord now, which is a fifth from B flat, so we're just going to move it up the strings, and that's going to be our shape. Just like that. So now we're going to go back to B-flat and play the same idea once more. And that's pretty much it. We're going to land on the C and then just walk ourselves back to 1. So on the C we're just going to play straight quarter notes that'll sound something like this. I'm just playing this double stop. So 
I'll play that once more. I'm just walking this double stop down a whole step and playing this C and fretting the open D and the B flat note. And then a nice open F chord. So all together that B part is going to sound something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So a couple of important notes about this tune. Uh, it is swung, so if you're looking at the tab, uh, it's written a little more directly. It's written very straight, but you want to swing this tune a little bit. Same thing with the B part, instead of just playing it like, like that, you want to swing it. And then additionally, I've got all the pick strokes for this tune alternating because at this slow tempo you can you can do both. You can play all down strokes or you can alternate. I think generally we all need to work on our alternating picking, so that's my go-to. But this tune does sound really good with all down strokes. Even the B part. So if you want to try this with all downstrokes, uh, be my guest. Um, but either way works. Just make sure you're being consistent in whichever way you choose. Well, thanks for joining me. Make sure to come back every Saturday. There's a new mandolin tune of the week. Uh, just lots of obscure and less played tunes from some great mandolin players. Um, some more widely known and some not. So yeah, every Saturday morning, new mandolin tune of the week. So I'll play it one more time. Feel free to play along. One, two, three.